In this segment, Navigating the Control Panel, we'll endeavor to help you get a more in-depth understanding of the control panel. You'll be shown how to navigate, so to speak, the control panel by learning how to access key functions by using the different buttons. Let's review each component of the control panel. First is the LCD screen. This basically tells you what the plotter is thinking at the time, or will display an action that is needed, such as pressing a certain button. Next to the LCD are the function keys. These allow you to choose certain functions or menu options that are going to be displayed in the LCD. You'll see examples of this as we progress through the lesson. The two user lamps will indicate the current user settings. The crosscut key will activate the crosscutter. The crosscutter slices across the media, delivering a clean straight edge to the media. The menu key will pause the cutter's cutting operation and switch the cutter to the menu mode. When the cutter is in the menu mode, the indicator light above the button will illuminate. The condition key will allow for altering and testing the eight cutting condition presets. The arrow keys in the middle of the control panel have two functions. The first function is to move the tool head to a new location. The second function is to change values on items displayed in the LCD screen, such as increasing or decreasing a value. When moving the cutting tool or pen to a new location, the tool head will start out slowly. Pressing the fast key while pressing the arrow keys will speed up the movement. Pressing the fast key, as we have learned earlier in this lesson, will also increase the increment when changing the value. The stop key will stop the cutter in its track, so to speak. The origin key will set a new start point or origin at the tool head's current location. The copy button will make copies of what's currently in the buffer, in other words, the last job that was sent to the cutter. Finally, the enter key is usually pressed after a setting has been altered. Pressing it tells the cutter that you accept the changes. It can also be used for other functions, such as switching conditions, but we'll cover that in another lesson. Let's go over the menu structure and how to navigate through the menus. To access the menus, we need to press the Menu button. This pauses the cutting operation of the plotter and will display on the LCD screen these menu functions dealing with the tool, arms, area, media, interface represented by the I slash F, advanced, and test. On the corner of each of these choices is a little number or arrow indicating the button that should be pressed to enter that menu option. For instance, to enter the tool menu options, these are the settings for the operation of the tool, we'll press the 1 key. Once we enter into a menu with options, in this case the tool menu options, there will be a list of settings that we can change. Here we have the tool up and down, tool offset adjustment, step pass, and offset force. But these are only part of the tool options available. If you notice in the upper right hand corner of the LCD screen, there are two numbers that indicate both the number of pages of options and the current page number. In this case, we see the 1 slash 3, showing that there are three pages and that we're on the first page of settings. If we press the up or down arrow key, we can scroll through and see the different types of settings for the tool menu options. To select one of the options, press the number next to the option. For instance, if we wanted to change the tool up speed, we would press the 3 key. This gets us into the tool up speed setting. Here we can either increase the value by pressing the up arrow key, or decrease the value by pressing the down arrow key. To accept the value, press enter. This action will accept the change. The E in the lower left hand corner indicates this. In this case though, we really don't want to change the tool up speed. So to cancel this value or the setting, we can just press the left arrow key as indicated here, and this will bring us back to the tools menu. Keep in mind that this type of operation is true with many of the menu settings. To get back to the main menu, press the left arrow key again 
as indicated by this arrow at the top of the LCD screen, or we can press the menu key to return to the default menu. There are some functions that require two buttons to be held down at the same time to access functions. These will be shown throughout this video. As an example, if we press the Enter key, this will display the cutter's condition in which a secondary button can be pressed to select a different condition. Keep in mind that when navigating the menu, always look at the LCD. It will always indicate which buttons to choose to get where you want to go.